Hi, Green Lake Dragons. It's Anna, your vocal music teacher. I miss you a lot. I'm curious about how you're doing. How are you? How are you feeling? I'm doing pretty well in general, but today I'm not feeling so great. Um, don't worry, I don't have COVID. Um, I ate some yucky food, I think, and my tummy is not doing well. Um, and I'm just really tired. So, um, I'm also a little low energy, so I might have a little bit less energy in this video than I usually do. But that's okay, because we can't feel super energetic all the time, right? That's life. That's what it is to be a human. So I'm going to make the best of it. And let's get started by relaxing our body. I'll invite you to sit or stand if you're going to be singing with me. And if you're taking a break or maybe you're not feeling so great um, or you just need a little rest right now, um, then lying down or any other position is just fine. So do whatever you need to do to relax your body. Roll my shoulders, stretch my jaw. Relax my neck and just really feel yourself in your body. And we're going to do a couple of deep singing breaths together. Remember the goal, the practice is to feel our chest and our stomach expand, get bigger when we breathe in. And let's first inhale and exhale through the nose. So sitting or standing nice and tall, relaxing your shoulders, and inhale and exhale through your nose. Here we go. Breathe in and breathe out through your nose. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your nose. This time, inhale through your nose, but exhale through your mouth. And again, just kind of check in with your body. Make sure you're tall, your back is tall, but your shoulders are relaxed. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. And one more, just like that. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. All right, time for some funny Green Lake warm-ups. And of course, I will be sharing some that were written by some of the kids at our school. Hooray, dragons! Okay, first we're going to hear from Ada in Mr. Leahy's class. Oh, this one's about me, I forgot. <laughs> Miss Stewart made me squash my Skittles. We've heard a few warm-ups with Skittles in them, haven't we? I think that's a popular candy that starts with S, but I don't think we've heard the word squash. Okay, I'm gonna put those lyrics right in front of me so I don't forget the words. Okay, you know what to do. Check your body's posture. We'll continue to take those big, deep singing breaths and warming up our voice. It's important to remember to not sing too loud. Just keep it nice and light and quiet. One, two, ready, go. The steward made me squash my skittles. Breathe. Keep going up, starting on this one, this note. Now we'll hear from Allison in Miss Smith's class. 
Miss Smith made me ski on my Snickers. I love that. That's a good one for winter, too, with skiing. Here we go. One, two, three. Miss Smith made me ski on my Snickers. Now we'll start here where we left off this note, but we'll go down, 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 down with our voices. This warm up was created by Connor in Miss Moore's class. Miss Moore made me mush my marshmallows. Here we go. Check your posture. Don't forget to breathe big breaths. Miss Moore made me push my marshmallows. 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 Last one. Sorry, I forgot to tell you that. Miss Moore made me push my marshmallows. on that one. So we're going to go up one note from this one to this one. Do you hear that difference? And our last warm-up is brought to you by Jana in Miss Turnbaugh's class. Mr. Leahy made me leap on my lollipops. <laughs> that is a funny picture in my head. I love it. Dragons, way to work hard on your vocal warm-ups. The warm-ups are a big part of practicing singing, right? Last week's assembly, um, some of our fifth graders and Ms. Schneider talked about New Year's practices. Well, I'm not just talking about the new year, I'm just talking about singing in general. Um, we have to practice if we want to become better. Okay. Time for the next part of the lesson. Since I'm feeling a little bit sick and pretty low energy, I wanted to pick something that didn't involve a lot of singing for me. If you want to sing along, please, please, I always invite you to sing along, but I'm not going to be singing much more. Using my voice and singing takes a little bit more energy than playing the piano. So I'm going to play the piano for you. And while I play, I'm going to invite you to do some free drawing or free coloring. So this is the part of the lesson where I invite you to gather up some crayons, colored pencils, markers, or just a pencil, anything that you like to color or draw with. Um, I'm going to ask that if you are coloring or drawing, that you're not using a uh, coloring page or coloring sheet that already has a picture on it, that you're doing the drawing, you're creating the picture yourself. So free drawing while we listen to the music. This could look like so many different things. This could look like you maybe listening to the music and then matching some colors that you feel like belong in the music. 
Um, this could be using shape while you listen to music. So perhaps with your, uh, with your marker, your pen, you're just simply making, using one line to make shapes while you hear the music. So hopefully this will really get in touch with how the music makes you feel. That's what I want you to think about. Um, sometimes it helps me when I'm doing this activity to close my eyes when I'm the one that's listening to the music. That would be the first thing I would ask. Ask yourself, how does this music make me feel? Does it bring any images to your head? You could try drawing some of those things. Or, like I said, just experiment with different color and shape based on how the music makes you feel. I'm going to play a prelude in E minor by Chopin. See that, that word? It looks like Chopin, right? Chopin. <laughs> um, it's pronounced Chopin. Frederick Chopin was a very famous composer from Poland and composed uh, many beautiful pieces in the 1800s. So 200 years ago, a long, long time ago. Okay, go ahead and find a comfortable space for coloring and drawing. Or, like I said, just closing your eyes and picturing things. You could always do the drawing afterwards. That was Prelude in the E Minor by Frederick Chopin. Music can be so powerful. It can make us feel so many different ways. And it can get us through hard times, through sad times. It can put a smile on our face. It can keep our energy going when we feel really happy and energetic. So if you want to reply in the Seesaw lesson, then I would love to hear about how this music made you feel. If you'd like to share your drawing or your coloring, I would love to see it. Or if you'd just like to share those feelings, the music may be brought up, um, or some of the images or pictures that you saw in your head while you were listening to the music. 
And before we go, before I say goodbye, I know that some of you will be curious about the names that are on my sweatshirt. I just got this as a holiday gift and it has four women's names, Zora, Octavia, Alice, and Tony. These are the first names of four of my very favorite black women writers. So that's what that's all about in case you were curious. Be well, everyone. Have a great week. And I know by the time I see you next, I'm going to be feeling way better. So I can't wait to see you then. Happy singing. Bye.